is this a picture of Jesus? For centuries, people have been told that this picture, generally referred to as the Shroud of Turin, is a true reflection and representation of the face of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I believe this is the biggest fraud, the biggest fraud that has lasted for centuries and been allowed to go on. And I will, in my next contribution on this side, try to shed as much light as possible on the truth of what I believe. is reflected by this picture, the Shroud of Turin. The representations of Jesus that we see today, that we see in churches, that we see uh, imprinted in Christian literature, that we see worshipped across the world by people and mimicked and aped by others as in belief that it is the worshipping of the true Son of God, I will unmask that fraud. I will unmask that fraud and reveal that the shroud of Turin is not only a fraud, but that people have been led and misguided and made to worship the face of the beast as if it was the face of the Savior. God said that no images of God the Father or the Son or the Holy Spirit should be made and worshipped, that we should worship Him in spirit and in deed. So if God, who made the world and made us, created everything that we see, and nothing that was created was not created without the word, without the revelation of God. How could he make a mistake? How could God forget to remove the imprint of the image of his son? And how could he, by mistake, leave a photograph for centuries of his child, whom he has instructed in word? A revocable word that his image must not be worshipped, that he must be worshipped in spirit and in deed and by our word in our confessions. How could God, who does not make mistakes, make such a big mistake? Yet the word of God says, Be careful that ye are not misled. Be careful that ye are not led astray. Oh, the children of God. The Lord speaks and says, My people perish for lack of knowledge. My sheep are led astray by ignorance, and they perish for lack of knowledge. Oh, Holy Spirit, reveal to your people who this picture really represents. And by your revelation and your power, I will reveal to the world for the first time, oh, this picture 